Maskwira saying Mre Zimbabwe, welcome to our channel Zim Confessions and Deep Secrets. Kana kariki kutanga kukwe hapa nino channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Kano chukua garoga subscriber, don't forget to comment and share this video. Nasi Mre Zimbabwe, takwi gira inye ya buritz kwa nazano PF spokesperson wa Christopher Mutangwa. Hava Buddha, Pastora Ivo, Pachiti, eh, Vice President Constantino Chiwenga, we have a school of succeed. President Maso Mnangagwa is very automatic. Hava Buddha Zakari, Pachiramba, there is a pact between Mnangagwa and Chiwenga, Nekuti, eh, Chiwenga, Achatonga, Nekuda kwe eh, participation ya Kaita, military coup, Ndofunga Pani, in agreement ya inzi nevanu, eh, Chiwenga na Mnangagwa wa Kaita, since they agreed kuti, eh, after saving the first term, Chiwenga aizo pinda o panyanga si iba Christopher Mchango wa Buda wachila mpanya hei wachiti akuna Zwa kadaru mre Zimbabwe wa uh, Buda wachila zanu PF is not a church yekuti vanu vanu ano intana kuita ma president since the president is, the president is not a pope yekuti eh, anu ano intuwa kugara pajigaro and the uh, the person, uh, the incoming president, uh, is the person that is going to be masses of Potero, or Zimbabwe, to our one who has been the Pachigaro. But as a guy, I see a secret society. A good one in my secret agreements, and in Gari Poshins, as we say, a Zilipachena, and Suchinzi, as an OPF, is going to vote for their leader at grassroots level. Tara Ivo, ma accuser, the general Chiwenga, ma chiti, there is a secret meeting ya inza nunga wakaita na Robert Mugabe. Sana kunga abudi za kundechi, ya ngabuda za kare, ma chiti iye, haka participate hao, mu the 2017 coup. And so it doesn't make Chiwenga an automatic successor of President Emerson Munangagwa. Chimuchangwa abuda, za kare, mchangwa harufungi ziruwa. And he is one of uh, Mavanvari is one of my possible candidates. Arukwani succeeded President Emerson Mnangagwa. Nye ya bodizkwa ni Zim Live on their website. Mwashtona wa chete. Vice President Constantino Chwenga is not a show in to be Zano PF's next leader. When President Emerson Mnangagwa's second and final term ends in 2018. According to party spokesperson, Christopher Mchangwa. And Mchangwa also denied the existence of a pact between Mnangagwa and Chiwenga that the latter would succeed him after they seized power through a military coup in November 2017. And Mnangagwa also cannot endorse anyone to succeed him. Mchangwa said in an interview published on Sunday, uh, because Zeno PF published on Sunday, as uh, when the Mchangwa said, Zano PF is not a church where people can be anointed, and the president is not the pope or the archbishop of the Canterbury who anoint priests. Uh, so if you think you are worth it, you are worth it, go and sell yourself to the people. If you clamor for anointment by the president, it means you have failed the litmus the litmus test of being a Zano PF leader, Muchangwa told the standard. And the Zano PF is not a secret society, and there is no secret agreement on succession. People are going to vote for their leaders from the grassroots. And uh, Mutangwa is reportedly to quietly harbor ambitions to be the party's next leader, and these are pointed and uh, and these pointed comments criticizing Chiwenga's apparent advantage in the race to be the, part, the party's next leader will put him in a collision course with the vice president's allies. Mutangwa also accused Chiwenga, a retired general, of being a reluctant participant in the 2017 coup that ousted former President Robert Mugabe. And some of us were very involved in this thing in 2017. He said, we know where the allegiances of each and every person lay at that particular time, but we don't mention it. Uh, he appears to suggest that Chiwenga held a secret meeting with Mugabe while the coup was in progress as he wavered on whether to see it through. Yeah, I can remember, actually everyone who goes into politics and has ambitions to be a leader must pay by the rules, especially of a revolutionary democratic party, Muchango said. Zanopiev is not Makandiwa's church where he can have himself 
his wife and his kids and his followers to say this is my church. President Mnangagwa is an elected leader of the Revolutionary Democratic Party. There is no godly anointment in the part in Zanopia. Muchangwa said even if Mnangagwa were to endorse Chiwenga as his successor, this would be resisted. He raved, you want to become a leader by induction, like a magnet, saying because I'm a piece of iron, I must also be magnetized by the president. Even if the president said there's a secret agreement, we would censor him. That's why the president he was very clear on his tenure, he cleansed himself. Why, when he has done his job very well as a Democrat, would he choose to, ex to exit by donating the seat to someone else? Mnangagwa's supporters have been urging him to extend his term beyond two-term constitutional limit, but he, ins he insisted earlier this month that he would retire when his second and final term ends. ZANU-PF last year held its elective congress in December 2022, and the next one is due in 2027, when Mnangagwa's successor is likely to emerge. The military plays a major role in ZANU-PF, political politics, internal politics, and could still make a decisive intervention in support of its favored candidate. And those are the ones in live, which are Iwo, Machiti, Muchangwa, Aziramba, Kuti Chiwenga is the successor of our president, Nemasu Mnangawa, since Kuti Nyei Peri, Vanuachenda, Ku Congress, Pono Votero, the right candidate, since the masses are going to choose their favorite candidate, since the favorite candidate is going to be elected on my grassroots a party. Tisi nga zote mwena si nye tu zeo zomu kufunga. Pamsoro pe nye ii mu comment section. Well, you see, who will take over has been spelled out. You've got to convince the membership, the, the rank and file of the massive part that is ZANU PF. Okay. You've got to convince them that you are going to be the one who can uh, take over the party. But there was another re jo uh, rejoinder in his, his statement. He has spelled out a certain tradition. Mm. The, the palpable prosperity which has brought to Zimbabwe in the last, uh, since 2017, when he assumed power. The economy was rebased by none other than the IMF from 17 billion to today to 47 billion. This is a remarkable achievement on his part. Okay. And then a whole string of uh, signature projects which are coming on stream right now. Uh, which show that he is cho he has consciously chosen the part of the, the path of delivering palpable prosperity to these people of Zimbabwe, which is a fulfillment. The only way we pay homage to the many young people from who were 12 to about 22 years who fought the liberation war, they sacrifice their life for the prospect of prosperity, not for a party, not for a flag, not for a president, not for a leader, but for prosperity. So this is what you were saying, that if you can live, if you can put your feet in those shoes, mm. then you are going, you will resonate with the electorate okay. of the Renge and Fire of Zimbabwe. And then they will respond by choosing you to be the next leader of ZANU-PF. So again, the democratic ethos of ZANU-PF are coming to the fore. If there are any people within the party who may want to harbor the, you know, the aspirations of leadership, it's an open game. 